After a nightmare political month for the government, the Prime Minister has attempted to get things back on track, announcing the coalition's plan in a big state of the government speech. Time to mark nearly a year since the election. All the governing partners were there in a show of force. But as political editor Tova O'Brien reports, with nothing new in the plan, it risked looking like an exercise in crisis management. A chocker lecture theatre for a rah-rah rally, an event designed to convince voters the government's got a plan. It's a coalition united. It's the most pure form of coalition government and MMP. The first true MMP government. Jacinda Ardern introduced by Winston Peters with the whole coalition gang in town to announce their big plan. I think this is the bit where I meant to say, hold my beer. The Prime Minister went on to outline the government's blueprint. Our blueprint. No new policy, but a reiteration of priorities the Coalition agrees on. Today's announcement by the Prime Minister shows a government that is in complete damage control. This is a forced show of unity by the government, given the shambles they've been in. Because we've never had a government quite like ours before, we cause a little bit of chat. <laughs> And perhaps by chat, she means major policy divisions played out very publicly. Do you genuinely expect people to believe that there have not been any cracks played out publicly in this coalition Yes, government? I do. You know, the, we the are, refugee as quota, I've said, as I've the said, three strikes legislation, yes, the industrial relations Yes, because um, people will already know and accept we are three different parties. This is not dysfunction junction like the previous administration. <laughs> we know what we're doing, OK? Peters insists the tail isn't wagging the dog. I'm not a tail. None of us is a tail. We don't uh, just demean people. I'm not a dog. <laughs> and you couldn't be more wrong. This was a classic re-break, re-announcing or repackaging existing ideas to try to recapitalise on the games. But there is another political saying that applies here too. Explaining is losing. And after the Prime Minister's month from hell, she risks looking perhaps too desperate to prove everything is hunky-dory. Tova O'Brien, News Hub.